Hi and welcome back to the channel. I finally decided to treat myself to a DRO kit for the lathe. So this is an imported kit from China. Uh, to buy the equivalent sort of thing here in uh, New Zealand would probably cost me twice if not three times as much. So import and it made sense. So what we've got, we've got two scales and we've got obviously two readouts for the scales on the DRO there. This scale for the bed is uh, just a normal scale, normal size one. Uh, I've got plenty of room for that. But the one for the saddle, um, I couldn't fit that size scale in. So I've gone with a slimline one and that will make life a lot easier trying to install that. Because uh, they are quite restrictive um, when you put these on. You know, you've got to take in consideration the tail stock, whether you can still get that up close to the chuck and things like that. So yeah, so that's, that size scale would make that easier for that. Uh, the scales themselves are five micron scales. There wasn't any need to go any less than that. I mean, you can get down to one micron, but you know, unless you've got a real top-notch lathe, like a tool room lathe or something like that, you aren't going to benefit that. On you know, I'm just a home machinist, so a five micron scales are you know they're ideal for me. Um, we've got the cables are obviously protected against coolant and chips as well because they'll probably be laying in the bed, you know, because we've got to allow movement for the carriage to go up and down. Uh, the DRO itself is just a normal generic one. Um, it's, we've got a certain amount of programming or a certain amount of, you know, tricks what we can do for it, helping us work on the lathe. And then we've got sort of fit and kit. We've got some uh, bracketry here to install these you know down get the scales you know connected to the bed and whatever um we're probably going to have to customize those they they aren't going to work in my situation but that's no problem and then we've got obviously a power cable so yeah so what we'll do we'll go over to the lathe I already took some of the parts off the lathe just to make the job easier and we'll get this installed so going to start off with the bed one first and uh, we'll see how we get on with that so as I mentioned, I've took some of the parts off the lathe just to make install quicker and um, easier. So down the back here, this is where our um, scale is going to install to. So we've got plenty of room here. And actually, this face here is pretty flat across. So obviously, we're going to dial this in. We're going to dial the scale in because we want to get that, you know, obviously accurate. So I'm going to mount the scale on some, uh, you know, on some wide washers and we'll see what we've got once we've done once we've got it um you know like installed we'll just run up and down and we'll just see how accurate we are we may need to just pack one end of the scale out or we may need to obviously change the um, height on it just to get us 100 uh, percent accurate so anyway we'll start with that i'm not going to show i mean drilling holes and tapping holes you know obviously is, isn't you know it's easy to do we're just a bit restricted here i didn't want to start taking all the back down and because um, there's a lot of work, um, I just want to get the job done. So I, I can just about do the job. And yes, yeah, so we'll make a start on that and uh, we'll get that installed.
Right, we've got the um, scale screwed off. We'll just tighten that side up a bit more. Oh, not with that one, with the right key it'd help. <laughs> what did I do with that? So I finally got there at last. This end of the scale, which is towards the headstock, um, where it was sitting on the bed, there was some bog on there which they used to uh, like smooth out the roughness before they paint them. So I had to grind that away and uh, to give me a flat surface. So all good now. The other end was fine. So what we've got is this white dial is uh, Thou Divisions. And that is um, just on the face of the scale. And then the yellow one, which is in the white, is Half Thou Divisions. And that's measuring the top of the scale. So we'll see what we're like. Um, I'm going to... I'm allowing up to a 3 thou um, sort of tolerance as we move across the bed. So as you can see, as we go across, we move up to about 3 thou on the face. But we're only a thou out here on the um, top, measuring the top, so I'm happy with that. So yeah, so that's all the way across. And then the, the, the actual scale has got a bit of a warp in it, very slightly because um, it's extruded aluminium at the end of the day, so it's going to have a little bit of tolerance in there. So as we come up towards the end, you can see where it drops back. So I'm more or less at the maximum travel there. So um, on the yellow dial, you see we, you know, we're reading perfect on there really, and um, we're back to a thou just over on the face. So anyway, so that's all that installed. I'm really happy with that. So we'll carry on, and we'll now connect that to the saddle. So next are the brackets to connect the scale up with the lathe. So these are the ones what's supplied, but for my install they're not going to suit. So I've machined um, some bits down, uh, I've got a piece of stock here, and we've got a piece of plate. Uh, the plate I only had in 6mm, so I've just fly cut that down to size, um, just sort of similar to this size, 4.5mm. So we'll go over to the lathe and we'll have a look how we're going to connect those up. So coming off the scale, we've got a piece of um, just this stock here, which we're going to drill to suit. Um, this, the um, scale is actually threaded, so we can screw straight into that, so that's no problem. We'll just drill some clearance holes through there, and then we'll have the piece of plate coming up to the back of the saddle there. And we'll just double check that we've got that all level, and there's no sort of drag on that scale. So anyway, that's how we're going to fix that. I've got to fix this plate off centre from the saddle, simply because of up this end where it's going to hit. So um, we'll get that sorted, and then once we've drilled and screwed to the scale, we can then sort out and drill into the back of the saddle. With the, um, with the scale, obviously, there is a bit of movement in there, so we've got to make sure we've still got the red. Um, when they supply the scales, there's a red packer, which I'll just take off. So this packer here gives you an idea of the distance of what the scale can be set up at. Um, you know, the, the reed head to the actual scale body. So we'll put that back in. So long as we um, don't have any sort of rubbing or... can't get that in now. I'm trying to work upside down here. Oh, here you go. So once we get that, you know, um, fitted up to that, we can then take that packer out and then that will leave us our, you know, a sort of exact dimension of where that scale head needs to be away from the scale itself. So all the holes are drilled and tapped and we've got a couple of studs in here and we've drilled and tapped the saddle. So if we now install this, I just had to take a bit off this block here that wasn't quite sitting right. So um, should be fine now.
and we'll just make sure that we're, we're actually sitting square. studs so now we'll just test and just see if we can pull the spacer out if I can get hold of it oh yeah so yeah so the space is moving freely so we've got no binding so what I'll do is now I'll just check it up this end of the bed and check it down the other end and just make sure that that spacer still moves freely. Oh yeah, that's ideal. And down at the other end. Yep, fine. So we'll just snug them up. And that's it, X is done. So yeah, so that's all finished. We can take out our guide. And then all that remains on this one is just to slide in the scale detector and we'll get that screwed off. And then we'll move on to the top side. <laughs> 